Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the National Model Railroad Build-Off series that I'm doing. Here are a couple of pictures of the prep work that I took for the diorama, and then we'll pick up with some video after they're done. What we're going to do is, I've got some of this baseboard down and taking care of how or not baseboard, but this is the diorama that I'm working on for the National Model Railroad build off. I have the road here that's just cork and I've got it painted. I like the way that the cork was showing to kind of give it a pothole kind of feel to it. And then I'd already, and then this is going to be the mainline road bed. I may attach a second piece for the siding track for the elevator and the actual or one of the sheds but i then also have this piece of plowed field that i glued on there last night and went in and just airbrushed it a little bit with some black that might be out of frame Hope not if it is oh well then I painted I realized that I needed to paint the bottom of where I was going to put this field part at since there's a crack from where it's been bent at some point but I went ahead and just painted a good sloth swath however you pronounce that of ground I'd already marked out where I had some of the buildings at so I left those done so or left them out of the unpainted for just for now and let's get this glued and I don't really want to put weight on it to then have the ripples get flattened down any more than what some of them already are. Alright, so that is all we're going to do on, at least for this clip. I just wanted to kind of kill a couple birds with one stone and get a video of me in it.
as you saw in the pictures, I did a lot of work off camera, mainly the track painted, the cork painted, and then the track cut and placed. The left track that I'm pointing to is the Code 55 that came with the kit. I wanted to use it for the elevator siding as it had the shorter rail height. And then the middle track that I'm pointing to, I wanted to use Code 80 just to give it the main line as a little bit higher for the rail height. And then the right track that is the spur going off for the um, store dock, I used some Code 55 that I had from a, another project that I ended up having to tear the track up. And it had some bits and pieces in it from leftover ballast on it that you can see here and a little bit of scenery stuff that was in it. And I thought that would look good here just to give some different detail to the track itself that would add for an abandoned line. So with that, I then painted them all with dark rust as I wanted this being unused, again, going with the theme of dilapidated with the buildings and used that I first tried to use this um, paint pen that I had, but the rust was just too dark, too light for it. Would be good for, you know, something that was being used constantly. But again, I wanted something really worn down and unused. And the rest of this video, I'm going to just weather up some of the ties here quickly and show that process of what I did. I just dry brushed a couple of different colors on it just to give it a little different kind of detail to it and hopefully make it look pretty decent. And then I have a picture that I ended it with, or I'll end this video with, showing the end process, or not process, but the final product of the weathering. And hopefully everybody enjoys this video, and we'll see everybody in the next one. Thanks for watching.